Show of Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get some cuts. Now a little heavyweight news. Let me talk about the heavyweight legend first, Mike Tyson. Right? We know Mike Tyson uh, is going to be played by Jamie uh, Jamie Foxx in the movie. Jamie Foxx has been talking about this movie about two years, but it's finally about to happen. I hear he's bulking up to play the role, and, you know, you know, Jamie Foxx can imitate anybody, pretty much. If he just behind Jay Farrell, you know, other than that, Jamie Foxx can imitate, so he's going to be able to do this, and he's a great actor, so that's good, you know. I'm not going to, you know, hate on the movie, although I'm not a Mike Tyson fan. Shoot, you shut me up if Deontay Wilder got a movie. That's when you finally shut me up, because I've been saying that since day one here. Deontay Wilder's life and career is worthy of a movie, and a damn good one, and it could have ended with him beating the main the first time, right? But all this other stuff he did since then, he could that too, right? Because how are you just going to come in the gym at 19 and because your daughter's sick and then do all that that Deontay Wilder did and nobody paying attention like that can't be no movie? Tyson Fury, they talking about him. He's about to have one, right? And everybody just skip over Deontay Wilder. So, I mean, this is, you know, this is one thing. But anyway, so that's one news. The other news is, speaking of Deontay Wilder, the other news is... um. You know, Deontay Wilder been disrespected from your boy um, Floyd Mayweather Sr. That's a couple of days ago. I didn't say nothing about that because, you know, he called him, you know, he's trash. Right? You know, Floyd Sr. going to talk some smack because he's mad he lost money. I know what he means by that, you know, this trash thing. First of all, he's just upset because he lost money. And here's the thing. If you go, you bet on uh, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, you're not going to bet on trash. Now you're just not. And you didn't learn too much from that fight that you didn't see before. You know, so you know that Deontay Wilder doesn't have this or that in his game, right? But you bet on him against Tyson Fury, the very the very best heavyweight. So when he lost con- con- uh, convincingly, and now he's trash. I just think he was exaggerating and just talking some smack on that. But he said he can't be fixed, right? And, you know, some of the things. Now, normally you'd be like, man, shut the hell up talking to Deontay Wilder like that, right? But listen, this is Floyd Mayweather Sr. And if anybody knows something about boxing, it's him. If he sees holes, then damn it, it's holes. Like most of us see holes in Deontay Wilder's, you know, um, arsenal. That's the whole point about how awesome this is. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do that. But what happens is I knock everybody out anyway. That's what's so awesome about that. That's the whole point. That's why I love when I hear stuff. Deontay Wilder ain't this. Yeah, he ain't. Mm-hmm. He didn't fight that long. No, he didn't. You know, he don't have a great jab. Well, it's not the best. Yeah, but I keep knocking people out all the time. That's the whole point about it. So, you know, he was called trash from um, for your boy Floyd Mayweather Sr. I know he don't believe that because the bottom line is, you know, you bet on him. So you wouldn't know. You, you, if you're going to put your money with your mouth, how do you bet on somebody then he's trash? So that doesn't make any damn sense just because he lost. But um, what it means is he's got holes in his game and he probably won't be able to fix them at this particular time in his career, which is kind of late in his career now. You know, he's in the prime, but, you know, he's getting, getting up there. I think Dante Wilder, what is he, 33? About to be 34 or something like that. So that's probably what he means by that, you know. And another thing is Tyson Fury and... Anthony Joshua's negotiation is disrespectful to Deontay Wilder. But I don't think that's a headline because we know that is. And, you know, uh, but I don't really think that Tyson Fury is trying to be, um, to disrespect uh, Deontay Wilder. You know, t- for real. I think this is just news and everybody's out there right now. People can't go take a dump without filming it. It's going to be on one of these social media things. But I don't know why everybody ain't crazy. You didn't see the Truman Show or Bruce Almighty, all them voices. Everybody, if you just paying attention to what everybody's saying, you're going to go crazy. Who gives a damn? Right? That's what's really happening. I know damn well that Tyson Fury knows this. He knows that Deontay Wilder had his ass down in the first fight. Right? He knows he cheated in the second fight. So he's going to, he, he knows who he's dealing with. Deontay Wilder, if whatever he lacks, think about this. He's committed to knocking people out, committing to throwing the punches to knock people out, which means he's been hit and sparring. I'm surprised we don't have more videos of Deontay Wilder getting hit with a left hook coming out of there and straight back, you know, knocked down several times. That's why Deontay Wilder has a chin. I'm pretty sure in all the sparring that he's had and the, in the, uh, 
the things that he doesn't do well, being exposed and sparring and hit with left hooks on the way out of there with he, you know, leaning too far with the right and missed it, stuff like that. You know, people making him pay in training. But then you got a chin now, right? As opposed to somebody else I, I particularly like, a lot of people don't. It's like, for example, David Hay. But they were six six David Hay. So I've got him against a whole lot of people. Right? But David Hay, with all that upper body mo- movement he, and stuff like that, he's, and he comes in throwing hard, uh, precise punches all the time. Right? Hard, precise punches all the time. Doesn't really waste punches. Don't jab that much, David Hay. He's try- trying to get you out of there, and you're not hitting him. So when he does get hit, that chin is chinny because it wasn't, you know, it's not used to it. This boy, I think Deontay Wilder got hit a lot coming up. So I think, you know, he has a chin and he has the will and the heart to commit to punches and not be, well, let's just wait for a while. Wait. You need to commit to him. He's going to take, take you out of there. So he has a lot of good qualities. If he's trash, well, I'm going to be betting on trash in the third fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I hope a whole lot of other people would rather be trash because it's these rich, right? Ain't nobody ever going to walk up on them in a ring or outside of a ring. So a whole lot of us would like to be trash. Where where's the trash line at? Because let me go stand in it and you have, I'll be, and I'll probably see y'all in there in front of me. Because we want to line up where they was giving out the trash. Because if that's what trash is, then damn it, that's what we will probably want. Most of us want to be. So I'm going to just leave it at that right now. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.